Hey, all right, everybody. How's it going? Now, I got a story by here. Well, it's actually two stories. Uh, it's two stories, and it's about the used sales of diesel vehicles, which I did touch on in the last video. And it's sort of relevant to electric cars because uh, in my last video, um, I had quite a, quite a few comments from, I'd say they're probably the Barry Crompton uh, viewers, or maybe the Not Jeff viewers. And in my opinion, I think that Barry Crompton and Not Jeff are sort of, they're pulling the wool over the eyes of their viewers because they, 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 they're giving them a, a, a sort of a direction which shows a completely negative look on electric cars completely negative so they only grab that little cherry pick piece uh, which is negative and rinse and repeat over and over um find the find the neg find the negative article don't don't read the article or look into the article to see what's going on just give the negative spin and then give your viewers what they want because that's what they want basically they want to be told that electric cars are failing but here's a story by Hugh. And I don't think that people who watch not Jeff or Barry Crompton, them type of people who are anti EV, aren't going to like this story. Wait a second, my dog's outside the door. She wants to come in. I'll be back. I'm back. Right, so where was I? So, right, what am I talking about? So, they won't like these this particular these particular articles and they won't believe these articles they'll think that these articles are being made up this is the kind of people that i have to deal with in the comment section the minority the small minority but they keep coming back they keep watching my videos i don't understand why um so the first article by here that was a little bit of a rant before i started the articles um now i gotta say I'll make this plain and clear. This isn't me having a go at people who drive diesel vehicles. I'm just stating what I've said is going to happen and it is starting to happen. I've been saying for a while it's going to start, it's going to happen. Now it's actually ha happening. I haven't, you know, I can't see into the future. I haven't got a crystal ball. I just guessed what was going to happen and it looks like it is. Um, so that, that's what I'm going to talk about right now. And I'm going to stop waffling right now. <laughs> so the first article by here, it says diesel car alert. I did touch on this in the other video. Uh, diesel car alert as owners given 2028 warning, which is only, well, that's less than two and a half years away now, isn't it? Um, diesel cars are falling out of favour across the UK and experts say they could be newly wiped out within just a few years. Now, before you all start shouting, you, you, you there now, stop it, stop it. They're talking about new sales of new diesel cars, right? So calm down. I know there'll be diesel cars on the road for another 10 years or whatever, but just calm down. Listen to the rest of the story. So experts could say they could be newly wiped out within just a few years. New data shows the fuel type, which was once uh, a top choice for drivers, now accounts for just one in every 17 uh, new car sales. And if current trends continue, diesel will only make up 2% of the market. 2% of the market, that's tiny, um, by 2028. Like I said, I'm not having a go at people driving diesel cars i'm just explaining that they're going to disappear i know it might it make some people sad it'll make some people angry and i'll probably have somebody in the comment section telling me that i'm talking ghoulies but it's usually the people who are anti ev who talk the ghoulies um so it says that would mean only one in 50 new cars sold in the uk would be powered by diesel one in 50. Now, it does go on to talk about the Volkswagen Dieselgate scandal, which was the nail in the coffin 
for Diesel. The the scandal, which Volkswagen wasn't on their own, by the way. It was other car manufacturers, and they were checking out much much more stuff than what they were supposed to. So anyway, I think that was what ended Diesel basically. So that was that story there, uh, and they were talking about new diesel cars. So let's go on to the second diesel car uh, article. And this one here is diesel vehicle sales plummet as UK motorists opt for used electric cars. Now this is talking about the, the second hand market. And this has happened faster than I thought would happen. I, th I thought the the new car sales were going to happen fast, but the second-hand car sales are happening fast as well. So it does say by here that new electric car sales made up 20, and they've said sales in the article. I'm just saying what they said in the article. I know the RTEV people are going to say is registrations. They don't say registrations for petrol cars or diesel cars, right? They say is sales, but they, if it's electric cars, they say is registrations, not sales. Um... Sales of used electric vehicles have overtaken diesel cars for the first time on a leading online marketplace as British drivers turn their backs on polluting vehicles. Uh, new data shows that 16% of total sales online uh, used car retailer Cinch were electric vehicles, while, di while diesel vehicles accounted for just... 13%. Uh, this is a huge change compared to 12 months ago when only 1 in 10 sales were electric and diesels made up 19%. It's been a switcheroo. Um, it comes as drivers are making a clear move away from new diesel cars as well as the latest data showing that just 4,307 diesel cars were registered in August. So it's not just new cars, it's used diesel cars as well. Happening much faster than I thought. Now, before anybody thinks I'm reading some pro uh, anti, not sorry, some pro EV article, it's from GB News. <laughs> this article's from GB News. Um, so it is happening a lot faster much, much faster than I thought. Now, let's go back to my thoughts about, you know, the not Jeffs of the world, the Barry Cromptons. Um, they probably know what is happening. Happening, it's happening. It's a bit common, isn't it? Happening. Um, they know that the, the change is happening, but they've got to keep the grift going. <laughs> um, because the anti-EV types want to keep, uh, you know, the same old way, keep uh, keep the petrol and diesel cars going, because that's what they know, that's what they feel safe with. Um, it's probably a bit of fear and a bit of something else about electric cars. Um, and like I said, that's not me not having a go at diesel car drivers that's just me telling you what's happening people are turning their backs on diesel cars new car diesel sales new diesel car sales i should say and used diesel car sales um and i do believe now put in the comment section um do you think it's happening quicker than you thought or do you think it's a bit slow and it should have happened quicker Put it down in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think that... Are you shocked that used diesel car sales have dropped so much? Um, or was you like... You thought it was going to happen that quick for used diesel vehicles? I didn't. I thought it'd be quite a bit longer. Um, I, want, I wonder if parts are becoming harder to get for... The new, the, you know, the newer used diesel vehicles because there is less of them around i wonder if it's happening already i wonder if parts are becoming more expensive i don't know i haven't driven a diesel car since well i bought a diesel van from Copart last year and oh my god <laughs> 
the what's it called the the diesel particulate filter was completely clogged up blowing smoke everywhere so i don't know um so i got rid of that sharpish i only bought it to sell i bought it from copart it was cheap and i thought i'll buy that clean it up and sell it and i did that's what i did um so what do you think what do you think about that now i know that eric <laughs> eric you know who you are who's bombarding everybody's comment trying his best to say electric cars are not happening they're not happening it's not happening <laughs> he's, he's so obsessed he might, i think he's coming straight from the barry crompton video straight over to me and typing like mad as much as he can <laughs> eric and i know your name's not eric because you've had about 25 um new youtube channels but i'm leaving you on you know because people can see how ridiculous you are you keep saying nonsense all the time and you said you're never going to stop saying nonsense but the question is one day you will stop saying nonsense because when one day there will be so many electric cars around that you'll have to accept it yourself at the moment you've buried your head in the sand uh you've got your fingers in your ears and you're going la 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 <laughs> right and you're going on every pro uh ev channel and type in negative stuff as much as you can you're spending most of your life just type in negativity negativity isn't positive positivity is positive so stop being so negative eric anyway um i suppose that's on whatever point of view you've got i suppose him trying to stop electric cars is positive to him um but anyway bit of a rant on the end as well isn't it so there we are you've got two rants for the price of one if you did like this video don't forget give it a like comment down below say hi to eric and uh, i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>